Okay, so here's the thing I never thought we would talk about um, in an episode. Uh, healthcare. Is this something we should talk about in an episode? I don't know. Um, do you currently have healthcare insurance? I do. Okay. Um, you're lucky. <laughs> I have not had healthcare insurance for several, several years. And, uh... Oh, dear. Yeah. I am very, 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 very intimidated <laughs> by Obamacare. And the worst part is... I'm Just a... because, like, the penalties for not having it? Well, the penalties for, uh... For the tax year of 2014, like, doing the taxes in 2015, aren't that bad. It's the tax year for 2015 that I'm worried about. Because <laughs> that shit's like thousands mm -hmm. of dollars that I'm not willing to shell out because I didn't get medical insurance. But like, I was going through the marketplace today and holy fucking Jesus is that shit expensive now. Like I can remember shopping for it before. Oh, yeah. I can remember shopping for it before, and it was never like that. It's, like, tripled in price because of this shit. Mm-hmm. Fucking fabulous. Well, not enough. What's that? Basically, from what I understand, not enough people are signing up. So to support it, they have to raise the price on everyone. Yeah. Well, that doesn't make any sense, because then if you don't sign up, you have to pay, like tons of money in fines, so how does that not turn Well, out? I mean, for Affordable Health Care Act in general. Oh. Like, too many people are sticking with their private insurance. Oh. Man, I wish I had private insurance available. I guess I have other options outside of the marketplace, but I don't know where to go to get that. Um, I mean, there should be an agent's office somewhere in your area. They usually do consultation for probably not free, but for a pretty reasonable rate. Yeah. Yeah, but what's crazy is, like, if you go through uh, the marketplace, they tell you about a tax credit you can take. And that's the confusing part. It's like, does the tax credit kick in during the months that you're paying for the insurance? Or do you end up paying that... Oh, he's so tiny. Do you end up paying that, uh... Paying the full amount and then getting that back with your taxes? I'm an accountant. I went to a seminar for this and I still don't fucking understand it. I don't know. I've had, uh... I've had to cover presentations on it for my job at the newspaper and I don't have a clue yeah. for individual. Yeah, I mean, because, like, if you get a voucher, if it, if it goes by a voucher system where you pay the amount after the tax credit and then you just use the voucher for your taxes, I'm down with that. Because I could, like, I could cover me and my girlfriend for, like, $2,000 on a pretty decent silver plan. But there's another thing, like, how do they expect people to understand what the fuck those plans even mean? That's a fantastic question that I have no answers to. Yeah, because it's like, all of these plans look very similar. Because a lot of them are like $8,000 deductible, $9,000 deductible, $12,000 deductible. And it's like, people might think, oh, yeah. people might think that's a good thing. <laughs> they might be like, uh, Carol slash Cheryl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You Cam want a high to... deductible, because that's what you deduct? Oh my god, Cheryl. Yeah. It's like, no, you want to... Okay, I'm just going to say this now. The plan I chose had a $400 deductible, $200 per individual, $400 for family. What you want is the lowest deductible. Deductible is what you pay out of pocket before your benefits kick in. Also, do not get coinsurance. Whenever it says coinsurance, you don't want that shit. Because you're going to be paying way too much out-of-pocket even after you've paid your out-of-pocket deductible. 
taxes and insurance tips from Geeks of the Roundtable. <laughs> Just what you tuned into Pokemon to see. I'm sorry, I'm flagging. I, I'm not sure what to talk about, but this is like the relevant topic of my day. Because I'm old and I... Oh, that's fair. You know, I need medical insurance and... I was shopping for it, and that was one of those things. Because, like, I was explaining to my girlfriend about it, because, you know, she's never worked in insurance, and that's really the only way you need to know that stuff, is if you work in insurance, which I did. I'm sure that if this conversation spawns healthcare debate in the comments, that it will be a civil and orderly discussion. Oh, I'm sure, especially if Obama's involved. Which, honestly, I think I've been defending for way too long. I think I, I don't have any energy left to defend Obama. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of sorry to say that, but... I... I don't see any reason for it anymore, you know? Yeah. I mean, if he stuck to his guns from 2008, where he basically said uh, he didn't want to have to do the individual mandate, he was against that. If he would have stuck with his guns, I think I'd have been okay with that, you know? I I really actually can't find any uh, any documentation from searching over and over and over of what the original healthcare act he wanted to do, what his original reform ideas were. All I can find is either, you know, Fox News talking shit or the current legislation. Well, I mean, if you look at MSNBC, I'm sure you can find them sucking his dick. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just super confused. About, we just beat Koga, by the way. <laughs> For those of you uh, that are engrossed Looks in Looks like our... Koga needs an Affordable Health Care Act. <laughs> yeah, I just love how the Affordable Health Care Act ended up screwing pretty much everybody from lower middle class and down. I mean, I'm sure that wasn't the intention. Well, it really depends on who you're looking at, though. I still think it's kind of uh, hilarious how it's like... <clears throat> there was a there was a single payer. What does single payer option mean? You might know this. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't even know what that means either. But apparently, uh, there was supposed to be a single payer option. I don't know. But uh, I don't. I have no idea what that has to do with this conversation because I don't know what that means. But hang on, let's see what's on this TM. Toxic. Did we keep Toxic last time? I don't remember. I don't think so. Okay. We're going to ditch Toxic first and foremost. Um, but I think the big, the big thing in this discussion is the individual mandate. Where it's like... Um, the conservative party was basically a against the healthcare reform and wanted it. And then it was added, and now all of a sudden they're like, we don't want this, Obamacare's unconstitutional. <laughs> and I think I have a theory as to why that happened. And uh, call me crazy. Call me... Why is that? Call me crazy for basically pointing out that the conservatives are just trying to find reasons to make our current president look bad. But uh, I think they basically just push something that Obama will be associated with that'll make him look bad. So that they can point their finger at him and be like, you did this. We had nothing to do with this. You did this. And sadly, it's working. Because the public opinion of Mr. Barack Obama is not very high. Well, it's still higher than... W's was. <laughs> yeah, that's like catnip to me. I hated W. Whoops. And this is where we supplemented our Ultra Balls. I really need a new keyboard. Why is that? Well, my uh, right control key is 
completely broken off. <laughs> okay. Continue. Um, the pause break key next to scroll lock is snapped in half with one half hanging down. <laughs> okay. I'm not entirely sure what is around my escape key, but it does not look pleasant. <laughs> okay. That sounds... It's just a bad situation. That sounds like the most disgusting fucking keyboard I've ever heard of. I'm going apeshit on Super It versions. almost certainly is. Yeah. The problem is that I was at Best Buy yesterday and all the keyboards were like hyper ergonomic with built-in latte maker. $200. <laughs> and I was like, I just want like a $20 USB plug that shit in. Yeah. I think you I got my last one from, like, Kmart. Yeah. You know what I got? I got this very recently. What was that? A Logitech G510S. Not the G510S! Yeah, the G510S! Come on! It's one more than the G410S. <laughs> okay. So, we're entering the Safari Zone! How cool is that shit? Good day, everyone. We're going in the Safari Zone right now. <laughs> Probably gonna find us a chancy? Probably. I'm gonna stick my entire arm up its butt. Hope it doesn't bite me. <laughs> your entire arm? Well, being you're a ten-year-old, that wouldn't... They probably wouldn't be quite as bad. Okay. I'm actually going to be trying to avoid Pokemon confrontations and just find all the treasure. I had a friend who, whenever he would do a Steve Irwin or an Australian impression, before Steve Irwin's untimely death, mind you, where it would always include him sticking an increasingly ludicrous part of his body up said creature's rectum and hoping it doesn't bite him. <laughs> right. I'm gonna stick me whole torso up his ass. Hope it doesn't bite me. Uh-oh. Oh god, it's awful. What has evolution wrought? Kill me! <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Oh, there's a Item. Carbos. We're gonna shove that straight up Rockhard's butthole. See how it does. Hope you don't bite us. <laughs> TM37. Oh crap, that's right. There's like a million TM scattered about this place. And they all suck. And about 0.5 that are useful. I'm going to have to try to remember where we already were and where we have to go and stuff. Actually, let's see how many steps we've used already. Almost half. Some a bitch. We actually had a guy who... He said that he had worked close to with Steve Irwin. When I was working at summer camp, uh, he came in and talked to everybody and... He uh, actually he had an alligator that he just let out to walk around and said that he had trained it so well that he lets his grandkids ride it around the house. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't... I looked over at our head council earlier. Like, I don't know if our, our insurance covers acts of alligators in northern Illinois. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Never to pass up a chance to be glib, huh, Mike? That's right. <laughs> Life motto. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hope you're keeping track of where we're going, because I'm not going to remember and probably go in the exact same <laughs> fucking direction. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I mean, yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm probably not going to remember and try to go the exact same fucking directions I'm going right now. So 
So what did we start out? We started out this episode talking about healthcare. And now we're going through the safari. I feel like zone. we talked about something before that, but I don't... No, I started the episode with healthcare. I was keeping an eye on the timer. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I am the curator. Alright, I'll gotcha. I'm the curator of your dreams now, biatch. I'd still like to think that Tom Baker, when he's you know the curator of the under, of the under gallery, that the under gallery is the TARDIS just made to take another shape. Yeah. Or it could be a different room in the TARDIS. Because the wall. True. Well, it was just pointed out to me that the wall design is basically the roundy things. Yeah. Well, there there was an exhibit that had the roundy things. It wasn't really so much the whole wall. Or have you seen it recently? True. Yeah, it was just a section of the wall, but it, it's fun to think that it's it's super old Doctor's TARDIS. Or just some rooms of it. Well, yeah, because... The console being a maintenance shed. Yeah. Well, there are several consoles, so it does stand to reason that the consoles were just put in storage. Because there are multiples of them. Basically, it's it's theorized that every one of the classic Doctor's consoles is in the TARDIS somewhere. Well, it's kind of confirmed, because they had tens as a backup. But I guess it didn't specify whether they just kept a backup copy or if all of them were in storage. I think I read somewhere, probably the TARDIS wiki, so it's probably not an entirely official source, but they're all in there. Hi, Nutter. Oh, boy. Somebody's here to bust nuts, and that'd be Nutter. Hey, you found a nut joke that I haven't made yet. Really? Congrats. Wow. I am... Um... I'm sure I've used busting nuts, but in other contexts. Uh... Like breaking balls? Well, busting nut bars. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So this area is pretty well explored. I'm pretty oh, sure Oh, Tropic Thunder. Ugh, Kangaskhan! Squad, everybody. There's a Kangaskhan. It's got a baby in a pouch. We're gonna, we're gonna settle this Gonna stick my entire leg up its butt. <laughs> we're, we're going to, uh, we're gonna settle this whole Cubone mystery right now. You, of course, Crocky, I pulled the thing out of its pouch. Turns out it's a Pikachu. Bloody hell. That just blew everybody's mind. To shit. No, but I, I know the Genghis Khan theory. Yeah. That originally it was, uh... An evolution of Cubone. Mm-hmm. It either evolved into Marowak or... Or did Marowak evolve into Genghis Khan? Um, do not remember. I think it was Cubone to Kangaskhan, and then Marowak was just added or something. Something dumb like that. Something stupid! Something stupid involving the old man and Vermilion and probably Lavender Town somewhere. Yeah, more than likely Lavender Town. It's always Lavender Town. Is this a section we haven't... This is a section we haven't been in. Lavender and Town is essentially the Blake Holsey High of the Pokemon world, and 30 points to any viewers who get that reference. And there's nothing there. I actually had a commenter on one of my videos answer one of the questions where I got points. Yeah? Or where I said 10 points for this, and it was a big O reference. Yeah. And yes, John, we can see your chats. <laughs> Yeah, we're just choosing to ignore them. I can always see your chats. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 How much time have we got left? 95, okay. Needless to say, we're probably coming through here again. Everyone in your life can see your chats, John? 
Oh, that's bullshit. Fucking walking around these little houses takes up your time, too. Why are they even out? There are even houses out here. I don't know. I don't know, Mike. That is a very good question. But I am lost, oh. so. How did Twitch get through the Safari Zone they probably... without wasting all their steps? I don't know. It boggles the mind that Twitch was a thing that actually worked. Though I have to say, doing this without a map is the hardest thing in the planet. It's just a good thing we have a lot of money. Fortunately, we're rich! Yeah. <laughs> I can get to the HM without wasting and without a guide lo Well! Isn't that great for you? That says a lot of things for you that are not positive. <laughs> our viewer has just made Good job, John. Our our uh, our viewer has just made an outrageous claim while at the same time being that guy. <laughs> How's it feel, John? <laughs> you're now that guy. Yeah, you're you're that guy now. That's just a thing. That's a thing now. Change your name to that guy. Yeah, do it. You can actually do that on the chat. Change oh, your name. shit. Shit. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I was going the right way. For a second there, I thought I was wasting everybody's time. Because Nutter can just come in and do my job so much better. If you guys want to catch us during one of these live streams and get yelled at, please go to <laughs> www.livestream.com backslash not another reviewer. Yeah! <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> We're just ruining it now. Who knows, though? If this catches on, then who knows how many people would show up here just to, just to take my abuse. And deal with the repercussions of my horrible memory. <laughs> hey, I found another thing. Protein! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, there's no terrible jokes in that at all. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, look, there's a Chansey. Called it! Chansey! Oh, my God. I don't want... I don't want any encounters. Stop! We don't want any of these garbage Pokemon. These low-tier sons of bitches. We only accept the highest caliber Pokemon. Yes. Like Heisenberg. Yeah, we found the end. We done did it. Go us. Oh, oh, oh. oh, finally. You're the first person to reach the secret house. First person, Nutter. First. <laughs> Not you. Us. Okay? You got it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now of course the first thing we gotta do is we gotta teach this here to IU because we're pro like that. So yeah, who's ready for another JonTron video? Always. Yeah. 
I feel like we got spoiled when he did two videos in two weeks, and now I'm, like, waiting for one. And another one just hasn't materialized yet. <laughs> I imagine he's regretting that decision. Yeah. Though, I don't know, they were, they were both pretty good. Though it's probably a pretty big difference, because one was a movie review. Mm -hmm. And movie reviews are infinitely easier to do. I mean, not saying that to people who do exclusively movie reviews. I'm just saying, like, in my experience, movie reviews are so much easier to do. You heard it here. Tim thinks that your job's a piece of shit. Listen, I don't think anybody's job's a piece of shit. I do both. So I'm essentially saying my other half of my job is a piece of shit, which I am not. I would never. We have very good friends that do movie reviews. Very good friends who have shown up on the show. This is true. Very good friends who are actually very good at making this show a little more interesting than we fucking make it. <laughs> yeah... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kind of waiting for our time to run out now. I mean, we got everything we need. Plus, I couldn't find the Do way out. Do you think out no homos... Room. What? Do you think that in the Pokemon world, like, families push their kids to be Pokemon trainers? I don't know. What did we let get away, John? What what did we let away? What what Pokemon at level thirty two did we let away that you're so upset about? Venom. What were we gonna use it for? What were we gonna use the Venomoth for? N the bug mo the bug Pokemon in this generation, useless. None of them learn any bug moves. to beat the Elite Four by itself. <laughs> Apparently, Venomoth is a top-tier Pokemon. According to John Nutter. <laughs> the highest in town. No. No. Okay, now we gotta find the Warden and give him his gold teeth. I was just wondering, like, you know, you have parents who push their kids today way too hard to play sports or do this and that. I'm wondering if a kid who just wants to be, like, an accountant is a huge disappointment to his family. I'm an accountant! <laughs> Actually, my dad... Would you be a huge disappointment, disappointment to your Pokemon Universe family? Uh, probably. Well, son, when they invent the accountant-type Pokemon, maybe he'll be worth something to this family. <laughs> well, you know how Pokemon is. They don't actually have human accountants. Like, there's an accountant Pokemon that does that stuff. Like, they don't have any machinery. Oh, more than they... Huh? I said, oh, more than likely. Yeah. Everybody lives a very life of leisure in the Pokemon universe. That does give credence to the theory in the anime that Ash has been in a coma since the first episode. And any time he comes across something he doesn't understand, his his mind just creates a Pokemon to explain it. Yeah. What move did we forget? Oh yeah, that's right, we forgot Bide. Why do I even have to ask? It's like, what move did we replace for strength last time? Oh yeah! Let's try, uh, hmm. Whenever it comes to the most useful y moves to use in a battle, I usually think Bide. Worked great for Brock. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought that up. Now he's probably, like, running to a bar. Bawling. <laughs> he's not a psychic-type leader. He can't hear you from here. Mm. Well, he reads my newsletter. So... That would have showed up as a blur. You put on a newsletter just to say <laughs> insensitive things about Brock? Yes! <laughs> yeah, last uh, last month's issue, Brock is a big old pussy-ass bitch, went pretty well, actually. 
And then the issue before that was Brock is a fatty ass bitch, so... Um, I feel like my material's getting a little stale, but for some reason it still flies off the shelves. <laughs> Last time my newsletter was just a picture of Brock's face with a caption, Look how much this guy sucks at the bottom. <laughs> and then, and then it said, Continue on page two. Dicks. <laughs> Brock's like, you're the reason I go to therapy. <laughs> no, my Pidgey's the reason why you go to therapy. I'm the reason why you drink yourself to sleep at night. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, these jokes are starting to get a little terrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why we're laughing so hard at them. We are genuinely terrible people. Okay. Before we even do anything, let's go through these goddamn TMs. And get rid of all of them. Because they're worthless. Yay! Professor Oak publishes a newsletter... It's just called Bikes, Where Not to Ride Them. <laughs> yeah. It's actually not very popular, because nobody gives a shit. They try anyway. I feel like this full restore if match potion and Joy... match revive are just going to take up space, but what the hell. And John, if Nurse Joy stole all of our Pokemon, we would get our other ones out from the box and raise that center to the ground. That's not Nurse Joy yet. At least I don't think... Like, it doesn't use... Oh, the yes. Like, is it still Nurse yes, Joy, what, or just... What would different? you do if... I'm not sure, but John just said, I wonder what would happen if the Nurse just stole all your Pokemon. Just didn't give them back. Um... Well, I don't know if using the using the move pitch slap requires a TM, but I was We're about to find out. That was a terrible fucking joke. I knew go I knew Looks before like I just I, earned What? Looks like we just earned EVs and keeping our pimp hand strong. <laughs> like like I knew before even I knew before I even started saying it that, that joke was gonna be awful, but you know what? I'm not known for quality humor, so I just went. I just went with it. Oh man. <laughs> 